your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Comfort Now by Bob McAllister. Summer's coming. Inventory shortages still exist. Give us a call now. Let's plan for you to be comfortable this summer. Comfort Now, 609-400-1005. And good Thursday evening. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Nor'easter Nick has the night off. Temperatures continue to plague around the shoreline thanks to that east to northeasterly flow as our upper level low pressure system continues to push on out of here. So only seeing the low to mid 70s inland. We've got some sunshine that did pop pop through those clouds after the rain showers we saw this morning. Temperatures a little bit warmer in the mid to upper 70s to even some lower 80s out there. The good news is we're waiting for that warm cold front to push through and give us a fantastic weekend upcoming. As a cold front passes through, it will come through as we head into tonight on into early tomorrow morning. Thing finally clearing by the time we hit the daybreak hours tomorrow, making it for an excellent Friday out there. Low humidity, abundant sunshine early, middle, we'll say mid to late morning through the early afternoon before some pop-up clouds occur in the afternoon, but definitely low humidity out there and a totally rad 80s weekend. Yep, break out that Aquanet, break out those wonderful, you know, scrunchies and stuff like that because... We're going to see yourselves not only temperature-wise in the 80s, if you want to act like you're in the 80s, might as well enjoy the weather while we can right out there. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Almanac for today, dead on, 86 degrees across the area, and that's because we didn't see much of the way in sunshine until later on at the airport. So definitely was a little bit muggy also this morning, but the good news is these temperatures will be seen close to those highs for the next several days starting tomorrow, but the good news is way less humidity and those dew points will be lower into the 40s and 50s. Wow, it's going to feel so nice out there, right? As we head through the rest of the, after the evening on into the uh, overnight hours, as I mentioned, the cold front will put, push through here relatively dry. Can I rule out a spritz or two? I, I really can't because obviously any kind of cold front that's going to come through could pa- pack some moisture with it. But that upper level low has been stealing all the moisture from it. So really at this point, it should come through dry. But look what it does for our temperatures. Like tomorrow morning, wow, lower humidity temperatures, Barely getting into the 80s, even some 70s with those pop-up clouds by the afternoon. Wow, definitely a gorgeous-looking Friday on tap, and even better as we head into that weekend. We'll talk about that in just a moment. As we head into tonight, clouds will linger, clearing, I think, towards the daybreak hour. Temperatures 66 inland, 68 at the shore with that west-to-northwesterly flow coming off uh, out of the uh, around 4 miles an hour, maybe gusts up to 10. So refreshing night out there overall. That's all we really want to worry about, right? As we head through tomorrow, I mentioned morning sunshine. Uh, morning sunshine, clouds in the afternoon, temperatures in the mainly in the 80s as you head towards the inland sections, maybe some 70s along the shoreline, but overall looking fantastic with that lower humidity out there. That's the biggest thing we're going to notice as we head into the weekend. Overall pattern as we head 5,000 feet above the surface, look at this. Wow. Finally, form from, a cold front pushes on through here. We're looking at yellows, light yellows, even some maybe light oranges. So definitely getting a reprieve from that heat that we were getting for the last couple of weeks. Unfortunately, though, I know we've been suffering through the heat and whatever, but the central part of the country has just been absolutely getting destroyed by the heat and, and just the dryness out there. So unfortunately, our friends to our west are getting it uh, pretty much brutally worse than we are. But overall for us for the weekend, continue to see that nice pattern pushing on in here, keeping the cooler air, that northwest to northwesterly flow, keeping us nice and uh, pleasant out there before we start to see a warm front that's going to move on in here as we head into Tuesday with an upper level low pressure system, which you can point out right here. It's going to move into New England and draw us in some, I think, warmer air as we head into next week. Speaking of which, that weekend, I promise you, an 80s weekend. There you go. 82 on Saturday, 84 on Sunday, low humidity. Monday, the humidity starts to creep up just a bit because there's a warm front approaching with that low pressure system, bringing us some showers and storms as we head into Tuesday. By the middle of next week, it will help to warm our temperatures up just a bit with humidity just creeping up just a little bit also, but but to the point where it is pretty tolerable. Have a great evening, everybody. I'll see you tonight.